what's this? Ooh, what is it? Oh, it makes it more interesting. Mm -hmm. Let's see. And this stuff probably impacts for over 20 years. We just drove an hour and a half, 100 miles to pick up this 10 by 10 storage unit. It's a little expensive. We won the bid, 860 plus fees. We're at $1,030 for it, but there's easily 100 plus boxes in here. And I am so excited because it's been so long. Let's do it. Now that we're in the unit, it looks old. Like it looks old. You see a lot of dust, and I see a lot of these. Eh. You can see that. It's like those price tags for vintage stuff and furniture, like that right there. I can't see what it is yet, but it says $150 on it. So that could be a good sign. So let's see what's in here first. Oh, we see it's books. We see that much. Let's see. Look at that. Autographed copy. It's by Jay Worrell. Where would they autograph the book at? Let's see. Oh, right there. Hmm. Is he a good autograph? Let's see if anything else looks signed or if these are just, he just happened to have one signed book in a box full of unsigned books. Uh, Cause that one doesn't look signed. Look at this, a history from 1607. Ooh. Oh look, what is that? That's from 72, so it's not as old as I think it was. Be. These are gonna be encyclopedias, almost all of them I think. Uh, Paul Revere and the world he lived in. Huh? <laughs> so maybe they're not, I don't know. Let's see if there's a publication date on here somewhere to let us know if we're dealing with something old, old, or something made to look old. Why couldn't it be signed by Paul Revere? Is that Paul Revere? <laughs> yeah, that would have been cool. 1986, so they're not even that old, unfortunately. So let's just love this box. So let's see what this table is. If it's like a sewing machine or what it is, we need something to be able to unbox on top of. So that's definitely part of it. It's got that same marble design on it, as you can see. Ooh, yeah, it's heavy. When it lifts up, oh, is it a sewing it. machine? No. It's just like a dresser, but the top comes off. I don't even know if it's supposed to be there. Huh. Let me get this out first. Oh, come here. This is what I was talking about earlier. So look at this. It's got a tag on it. It says, look, vintage glass ball feet piano stool for 150 bucks. So yeah, <laughs> look at the bottom. Oh, cool. The legs are actual glass balls. Nice. This looks like something out of like a Bugs Bunny cartoon, you know, when they sit yeah, down and they're like. They, <laughs> flop, they flop the <laughs> tail back. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what that looks like. <laughs> these look like they're gonna be more of the same. Let's pull out one and see what it says. Yeah, these are just, this is an encyclopedia set. Let's see if I can lift it on out of here. Let's see if there's anything inside. It doesn't feel like there is. But, does that even open? It looks like it should open, but it doesn't. Hmm. But the top comes up, so. <laughs> I don't know if the top's supposed to come off. Uh, there's paper. <laughs> Look, marble top, what does it say? Marble top wash, wash stand, stand. Ni 1890. From 1890. If that's literally a wash stand from 1890, that could definitely have some value. Oh, oh no, take this one. Got it? Got it. Oh. Uh, it's empty. Ha. <laughs> Fragile, Ooh. handle with care, what well, we are. Nice. This is a twinning transport. Well, it's obviously like a wooden bus. Look, the top opens up. Uh, and it has like no manufacturer date anywhere. But it definitely looks old. So I, I'm getting the vibe that they probably, they might have like an antique shop. That's what I'm getting so far. But then again, we're just getting into it. They could have just been antique buyers. You never know. Let's pull this big guy out too. So it looks like... It's almost the same color wood. No, it's not. You put it in the light, you can tell it's different. You think it's quite as old? I don't know. It's got this paper in it like this, similar. Let's just go through the drawers. Yes, a hair, a hair clip. clip. That's what it's all about. <laughs> More paper. Go back in there. More paper. Okay, I think it's gonna be empty. Yeah, it's empty. Hmm. But again, I don't see no marks. Besides this, can anyone decipher that? Just number. 2325A1490507. 007. Yeah. This is James Bond's dresser. If you're enjoying what you're watching, guys, make sure you take two seconds and leave us that thumbs up. It helps us so much more than you think. This is an hour and a half away at over $1,000 because we wanted to make videos, so please. <laughs> 
So this looks like a very fancy jewelry box to me. Look at this. See my handprint? Yep. <laughs> That's definitely what it is, but with the tape here, it might end up being brand new. Oh, look. It's got a little crack in it, though. Uh, let's see. Does this lift up? Yep. I'm not seeing no jewelry in it, but maybe that's because it's in here. Oh, there is some. Yee, let's see. Well, that one's here. empty. Right here. Oh, ah. We got a few things. Ooh, there's more. Let's pour yeah. some of this out really quick. This one says, Wood, Wedgwood made in England. Let's see if it's got a silver stamp on it anywhere. I don't see anything on it, but some vintage jewelry isn't stamped. This one is. Look, sterling right there. So that's sterling silver. Look at the design on it. Pretty it's kinda cool. This one, no stamps, but it's a heart. This one I see the stamp, isn't it? Yeah, this is ooh, that's nice. This is sterling silver too. Stamp cool. 925. Woohoo! We got silver already. That's unst actually no, that's 925 too. It says it on the clasp. That's silver. And this right here is silver. Nice. And this right here, ah, uh, silver. Yay. Yay. And this is unmarked. And this one is silver. Unmarked. Oh. <laughs> but that's just one. Look down here. It's, they get thicker. They get <laughs> thicker. Oh, yeah. There's more down there. All right. Come on. Give me more silver. All silver. Give me some white gold, even. What's this one? This one is a 925 sterling silver. That's thick too. Look at this big boy right here. That's a thick silver necklace. A thick boy. It is a thick boy. <laughs> this one's also 925 right here. That one's kind of tarnished, but silver, silver. Most people that buy it, I think, melt it down, so it doesn't really matter what it looks like. Some people might resell it, but a lot of people are melting it. This says Napier on it. N-A-P-I-E-R. Napier? Napier, I said Nate Beard. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just guessing. I don't really know. This is 925 silver. Usually, when something's spelled like that, you know it's something fancy. Yeah, it's like sounding. French or something. Yeah, yeah. This one's 925 silver. I'm liking this so far. Uh, this one, 925 silver. So, almost all of this is silver already. This is the same thing, Napier or Napier, whatever it is. However, it's pronounced. Napier. I don't know. Nappy what? Napier. Napier. <laughs> Nappy what? <laughs> this one's unmarked, unfortunately. Let's see. And this one, look at every single one's got like a little bit of jewelry in it. Isn't it kind of all strange? All the same side, I know. It's like all right there. Um, what about this little gold looking piece? Do we have some gold finally? That'd be nice. Look at it. Nice butterfly and stuff. Come on, be marked. Be marked. We need some gold. Gold to start off with would be perfect. But I don't see a marking on it. It's not good. Maybe we can find one on the necklace itself. No, I'm not seeing no markings on that gold, so I don't know if it's gonna be real gold. Looking down here, Ooh, look at that big thing. That's silver, that's a lot. That is... It's like a, a dog chain. I think it is. Yeah, this is unmarked. <laughs> That'd be a lot of silver for wise. What about this guy here? This is also unmarked. And, ah, there's a little tag there. It just says Sarah Cove, S-A-R-A-H-C-O-V. Sarah Coving Tree? I think we found that uh, before. I don't know. And then, yeah, I can tell you by looking at this, this isn't silver. So still, that's a lot of jewelry and a lot of silver right off the bat. We're like five minutes into this unit. So these are just lampshades, but as you can see, they're also tagged $4.99. I don't know if that means they're in like case $4.99 or they're selling for five bucks a piece, but definitely supports the argument that they probably had some type of antique store. That's my guess as of now. So check that out, John Deere. Bird house. That is a first for me. And again, well, I guess you can put the feeder there. I was trying to see if this is something that they made. And it looks like it was made like this. So John Deere is collectible, definitely. So I'm going to set that right here for now because I want to get this Xerox box out of here to see what's in it. What do you think? It looks old. Yeah. Oh, no. Don't be that. Thanksgiving decorations. And that's what it is, unfortunately. Precisely. I hate when they're right and it's bad. <laughs> Uh, what is this? Thanksgiving animal set, so like little glass figures probably. Yeah, like Native American themed animals. That's kind of cool. Corn guy. Corn! <laughs> and yeah, this is all Thanksgiving stuff. We're not going to go through that. So check this out. It's be late 1800s, like an old school baby rocker. It's definitely 
the right size. It definitely rocks on its legs. So it's definitely some type of rocker. The question is from what era? How old is it? Definitely antique. So look at this. What is this? 24 days of Christmas? Probably. Or 25. What do we get for Christmas? Oh. 22nd? Oh. 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 Wait, there's actually something in there. Look. It's a little snowman. <laughs> yes. This is what it's all about. Oh. Something in there? Yeah. Another ornament. So it looks like it originally came with a bunch of. Look, some of them are in there. A lot of them. Like early dates are there. And then it's like they started just taking them at the end. So it looks like it probably originally came with 25 cool Christmas ornaments, but they took what they wanted and maybe left the other ones in there. So I got the next box that was behind that thing. First off, look at that. That's just cool. Huh. Hmm. Again, no date. Look at the bolt on the bottom. You can tell it's old. It's like wood on the bottom. Yeah. This is another lamp. Is that another jewelry box? That's what it looks like, isn't it? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, this one looks empty though. Yeah, it is another jewelry box, but unfortunately, this one's empty. Let's just set that guy right there. This is decorations, basket. Hey, look, a graduation bear, 2005. And whoa, what is that at the bottom? It looks like a pig face or something. What is this? Hmm. This is serial killer stuff. <laughs> no, it's paper mache, yeah. But it does look a little creepy, I'm not gonna lie to you. What is this thing? It's an old clock. Look at that. Huh. It even shows the gears and everything. You can have this. Yeah, okay. Free of charge. I don't wanna touch it. Are you sure? Yeah. All right. Let's see what this is. Ooh, look, that's a cool blue. Yeah. It's just a plate. It's gold on the bottom then blue on the top. So we got some plates. What's this? Ooh, what is it? Oh, it makes it more interesting. Mm -hmm. Let's see. The what is that? Roger Silver Company. They're salt shakers. Whoa. I wonder if these are silver plated or sterling silver. Silver plate. Still, I mean, it's still cool. cool. Yeah, they're still cool, definitely. Was this in there? I think mm. it was. I don't know. We'll keep that together, though, because that's kind of cool. Uh, and down here, looks like we got some pictures. And what is, like a wedding thing. What is this? Brass decor ornaments. Oh look, more silver. Let's see what that one is. International silver, whoa. A spoon. I wonder if this is, ah, uh, silver plated. Still, still, it's still silver of some sort. There's another brass one. And that looks like it's all it's in this box, but still, uh, what's that little tiny box? What's Rick's got? Ooh, that's sterling. Check that out. Yeah, it says sterling. Well, that's at least 20, 25 bucks sterling silver right there, just in silver weight. But yeah, all in all, the rest of it's a lot of tablecloths. So we got these two Pennzoil boxes off the top. Definitely doesn't look like Pennzoil in them. But toys! Yes, this is what it's all about. My Little Pony ripoff or real thing? I don't know. A lion. Anything else cool down here? There's the, what are they called? The dwarves? Yeah. That's um, Pluto? Yeah. Ooh, I got it. Look at me knowing what I'm talking about today. Uh, nothing else that I recognize from over there. Check this side before we go to the other box. Oh my goodness. Are these pogs? Pogs. Now this stuff brings back memories. Oh, good days. Check out like this old figure here though. Like that just looks, you could tell it's really old and painted. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Ninja Turtles, more dwarf stuff. Maybe we'll throw together just the whole box of toys. Has a lot in one of our auctions. Ooh, what's that? It's just animals on it. Nothing else in there. Let's see what's in this box. And the two boxes of toys? Ugh, no. Spanish moss. Okay. This looks like crafting stuff, doesn't it? Yeah. I see moss, glue gun with uh, sticks, some stencils. Well, you guys have seen that these are old stuff, aren't they? Iron on. Ooh, look, some, yeah. These are some old crafting things. I don't know if this stuff goes bad over time or you think it's still good now. No hmm. idea. Yeah, I have no what idea. Is it? Uh, it looks like paint, right? Acrylic country colors. Okay. So, yeah, it's paint. 
So you guys that are into crafting, definitely let us know down in the comments if this stuff is garbage or if it stays good for a long time. It looks unopened, so it might still be good. Fingers crossed. Now we got Huggies, which is not what's in there, but we'll see. Karen's porcelain items, some in 600 case. All right, so that definitely, I mean, there's no other explanation besides the store, in my opinion, at this point. Let's look at this newspaper. It looks older. See if we can find a date on this and have an idea when it was packed. 2002. So, I mean, this stuff probably been packed for over 20 years, close to 20 years. Uh, look at the cap up, and it feels so real. Feel this. That's creepy. Yeah. It feels so real. You don't see a manufacturer or anything on him either, but look at the inside. You can tell that's like, that's not machine made. He's hand stitched. That's pretty cool. Let's see what's in the little ones. These are the ones that interest me the most. Stop wrapping it so tight. Oh look, it's like a little figure. But yeah, it's not glass. It feels like it's plastic, so I don't know why they wrapped it so tightly. I'll open one more out of curiosity. Let's see. This is that same thing. That actually looks the like top. it goes to that. Exactly, yeah. It's like a chicken or a hen or something. So that could be good stuff again i'm gonna rely a lot on you guys in the comments because i'm just not good with antique stuff i'm really not so i've said one more but you know curiosity gets the best of me sometimes whoa a wooden elephant now that's pretty cool so this is like a weird variety of objects but we'll go into this stuff deeper on our second channel the jesus family if you're not subscribed to that one you should be if you like to go into this stuff in more detail because we're definitely going to go into these boxes all the way over there so make sure you're subscribed to that too let's see what's in this box it looks like i see kitchenware but we're gonna check Ooh, look elephant vase or it's formalities by the bond brothers see that yeah hmm <laughs> what is this oh it's Looks like the same type of brand. Now this is actually made in Japan. So, mm, nifty little thing. Uh, chicken with the name Atigari. I'm probably pronouncing that, just slaughtering it like KFC right now, slaughtering this chicken. It's bad. But there's a whole lot of glassware in there and I don't want to go through all of it. But again, make sure you subscribe to the second channel if you want to see it all, because we will go through it all on that channel. I'm going to open up this plate see what it is and we'll move on to the next box just a flowery thing it says Monteferi fine china made in japan why do they call it fine china when it's made in other countries i don't know i don't understand but yeah good stuff this stuff can definitely have some value though now let's get into a tote instead of a box this is a mirror how you doing over there hi <laughs> that this is a little american bear Stuff. Yeah, it looks like it. Let's see, American flag reef thing, like a look like a desk organizer type thing, kitchen organizer maybe. Uh, let's see, pledge of allegiance, and let's see what else. Some stitch stuff. There's the 13 star flag. Look at these down here. I want to see if these are old or just made to look old. No, these look old. Look at the backs. These are old. This is even. This doesn't even have clips. This is nails. Hmm. So so is that one. Look at that. But well, check that out. It says uh, it's the alphabet in like American letter. And it's hand stitched most definitely. There's nothing back there that I can feel. But that's definitely. I've never seen a photo or a picture frame with nails. Somebody's gonna call me young in the comments, but <laughs> I am. I know. Uh, and other than that, just a few more stuffed animals. But again, everything's American flag themed in this tote. This is crazy heavy. Ooh. This is all newspaper. From 1968. Kennedy dies. Huh. From what? Where's the date at? 1968. Yeah. This is Robert F. Kennedy dies. Yeah. Oh, these are all different newspapers, huh? I thought it was gonna be like just a bunch of the same one. What is this 1963. one? 1963. That is. Yeah. Russia's. I can't read it. File on Oswald is handed over to U.S. All right. Anything else like super significant? JFK, look there's some JFK magazines. Uh, so, this is something that's like, I'm gonna have to look book? into. What is this, oh, what's that? Yeah. Something citizenship award. Yeah, well this at least gives us the person's name so I can look up what year see what is on it. Doesn't say. All right. It's from Charlottesville though, so I mean it's a few hours away. 
but this at least allows me to look it up. And all the way down, this is nothing but newspapers. So I have no idea if these are worth nothing or a bunch of money because they're old and special dates. We'll have to look into that. That's a lot of research. You know, this was almost one of the reasons I didn't buy this unit because I looked this up and it was like that awkward age of electronics. You know how they have a window where they're new and they're worth money, then they're absolutely worthless and then they're vintage and so now they're collectible again. And this is in that middle range where nobody cared about it. But it doesn't look like it's in there, so it doesn't matter. Is this all Christmas ornament boxes? Some are in there. All right, some of these are in here. Like this one, glass ornament but just a bunch of Christmas ornaments. So this is a big globe, but empty. So this is a lot of boxes. There's some Christmas lights, but you know we found other, I've seen other things with Christmas ornaments in it, so they might be somewhere else and they might've just kept the boxes so they could put it back in there later on. Hopefully that's the case. Let's see what's in this big old box here. Here, you can have the dusty pillow. No, for thank you. you. You don't accept none of my gifts. You know, it's hurting my feelings. You give me like dusty stuff stuff. Well, you can have this. <laughs> what, this one? It's it's dusty stuffed stuff. But but it's hey it's a terrier heart thesaurus from 1992. It's older than both of us. It is. That bear. Betty Boop. Betty Boop. Ah. Naked Betty Boop. Put some clothes on. Jeez. All right. Get over here, Betty Boop. Trying to get me demonetized and stuff. For the girl who has everything. <gasps> I'm so keeping these. Yes. I'm gonna wear these in the next video, 100%, that's it. Just these. You know it looks so good. I'd get so many views, a million views just for wearing those. Yeah. Everybody's like, ooh, that's so hot. Clothespin. <laughs> uh, let's see, what's this book here? Times 2000 Almanac. That's not interesting. What is this? It's like yeah, a, a horse helmet. That what it is? That's what it looks like, like a jockey helmet. All right, I wouldn't even be able to guess that because I would have had no idea. Is this Rocky or Bullwinkle? I think Rocky. Whoa, look at this giant thing down here. It's Aladdin. Giant, oh, giant genie. It's from Toys R Us. Look at that. That has to have an old date on it. Look at the stickers. Yeah, it's a toy. I mean, check the back. Let's see. Mattel. What do you think? What's your guess? I don't even know when Aladdin came out. I don't either. I don't even see a date on it, though. I have a price tag, but not a date. It says, I mean, the Walt Disney Company, Matt, Mattel. Made, but nothing about when. Hmm. That's interesting. That's definitely interesting. That kind of stuff's cool. A couple of hand stitched blankets. What was that? Um, Little fairy thing. I have no idea what or that is. Or a rabbit. <laughs> Buck tooth rabbit. And other than that, it's just blankets, unfortunately. <laughs> Let's see what's in this box. Cool. Oh, is that paperwork? It looks like paperwork. But is it old, interesting paperwork? What's this? Oh, this is definitely old interesting paperwork or oh, picture that's old looking pictures though yeah some of these are in black and white but yeah we'll try to get this stuff of course back to them because this is all yeah all personal stuff here we'll make sure they get this box back let's see what else is in here before we just toss it aside though like, how old I'm is trying that? to see like postmarks i think it says 1963. it does 1963. that's pretty cool overall though I think this is mostly personal mail. Look at the old eight cent Eisenhower stamp on it, 1972. But yeah, this is just letters. UVA, somebody went to UVA. Somebody's pretty smart here. Uh, let's see, is it all like that? Whoa, look. The New World Explorers. Uh, this is probably like a school or book report or something. It's exactly what it is. It's <laughs> crazy. This just gives me like PTSD. I hate it. It's so like much. the old label makers too. Yeah, I know. We're gonna teach you. A bunch of information is never going to help you train you to be an employee. Entrepreneurial routes don't exist. I am the schooling system. That whole box is just paperwork. So, throw out a box of clothes. This box is extremely heavy, so I'm guessing books, but they at least look very old. Harvard oh. Classics. Harvard Classics. How old do you think? Ooh, these look old. I'm saying at least 100 years old. Black and white pictures. Copyright 1909. So, yeah, I'd say old. Old. Over 100 years old. But are they all like that? Let's pull out another one and see if it's a set. It looks like it. I wonder if that's the mm. owner or. It looks like it's something Schultz. All right. Mm, it's written by or edited by Charles Eddiot. 1909, too. So, this is probably a whole set of Harvard classics that are over 100 years old. 
vintage books are another one of those things where literally this one could be worth less than its weight in paper and this one could be worth thousands of dollars and you got to be an expert to know so there's actually groups on facebook that like specialize in this kind of stuff that love it so that's what i'll probably do take a few pictures throw them up there and see if anyone can point us in the right direction so this box is interesting check this out it's flower girl from the series entitled the shirley temple and it's from dan barry mint it's a family album doll collection i know shirley temple was popular so let's see Ooh, it looks like it's new doesn't it yeah. oh yeah look Whoa. at that brand spanking new literally never even taken out huh i know we found some purses i think they were dan burry man and they were like 110 dollars a piece so if their dolls are worth around the same stuff as their purses this could be some money and plus with it being shirley temple and being as old as it is that's definitely an interesting find there hopefully that's worth some money i got the pretty full box pretty full it's pretty full look at it let's see what's in this one all right this is well that's empty well that sounds cool dorothy and glenda so that's definitely wizard of oz but yeah. let's pull it out i mean it feels super light but there's still styrofoam in it it could be a super light figure no it's not in there she's gone hopefully somewhere else this also is super light there's nothing in that somebody's cd a couple cds that are reba mcintyre and classics for relaxation brand spanking new Oh, it's over here. A couple more, look. Somebody love you Christmas. Ah, move. Oh, it's one thing. These are almost all brand new, too. <laughs> What's in this? Just a cup. Yeah. All right. Somebody's going to say that in the comments, guaranteed. It's not a cup, it's a glass. Like, oh, they mean the same thing to me. Sorry. Well, it's a glass piece. It's not like a cup. Yeah, I know. Let's check that out. That looks like goes on here. Yeah, definitely. So this is a... Yeah, it's a lamp. Look at that. The same pattern, definitely. And it looks old based on the plug at the bottom. Look at that. So it definitely looks like a whole lamp here that it's either brand new or very well kept if it's not brand new. So again, it could be money. You know, we spent a lot of money on this unit, over $1,000, but so far, it's looking like an antique gold mine. So you know what? I'm happy. If you want to see more, make sure you come back next time. Peace.